So I had mentioned in my theatrical review that this Lord of the Rings review will be my final. Um, and it will be my final for, for a while. And there's been a lot of thoughts and feelings and events that have kind of led up to this decision making. And I can't get into everything. And I'm not going to sit here and blame only one specific thing, or I'm not going to say, oh, only it's because of this is why I'm not doing it anymore. But at the time of recording this, I had finally reached 1,000 subscribers. And that was amazing. Absolutely amazing. I was so happy to finally get to that point, but it kind of happened with a whimper. And I think I had a lot to do with that. Like I, I really, I really think I botched that. I was really hoping to be a little bit more excited about that and hopes that I could actually like kind of boast and really say, Hey guys, thank you so much. And which I will say, I thank every single one of you who have taken an interest in my movie reviews, my TV show reviews, all that stuff. You guys have been incredible. And those who have found me and given me a chance and has commented just from the bottom of my heart, I can't thank you enough. Because when I first started out with this with like 200 subscribers of my on again, off again experience, I wanted YouTube to be my career. I wanted that because I loved talking about movies. I love talking about TV shows. But then I, I became obsessed and I became very laser focused on wanting nothing but this. And I think that it really challenged my perspective in a lot of different ways. And when I took to Twitter as like a platform uh, in a promotional sense, I really got lost in that sauce where there were people who kind of had done research and understood what they were doing. And then there were those who were piggybacking off of that. And then there were those who were like, I can make my own success. I don't have to do the same thing others are doing. And then there was me kind of like, I want to do what everyone else is doing. And it kind of created a loss of identity to the point where I had sort of experienced various things that were good and then not so good. And when they sort of started blending all together, I started having issues and it caused a lot of reevaluation and different focuses on what I should do. So I'm not wearing myself out because I just wanted to be success successful at this. I didn't think I had the right focus, despite actually having a very interesting and wonderful premise into watching films from directors that I never knew that they had created this, you know, film, or if they, you know, made their mark in movie history and I was always told about it but never watched it. That's kind of, this was like the excuse of let me watch things that people had been saying I needed to watch for years. And I would just pick a director and go, oh, that has that one movie that everyone was talking about. I'll lead up to it, boom, let's do it. And for the most part, through Steven Spielberg, Guillermo and Ava and, oh God, Nora Ephron and, and Peter Jackson, I was having a blast, but by the time I got to Peter, I was encouraged to branch out and do something different than what I was normally doing. And I was hoping to actually expand my horizons in doing this with my platform. But then that's where I kind of got burnt. And such is how things go in a platform where you're not very popular, you've got a lot of work to do to build up your following. I didn't think that it would be this difficult, but then it became difficult. Where I'm gonna be honest with you, it's hurt me deeply, very deeply. Um, I wanted people to be a part of this review. And when I didn't get a single hit, it was still hurtful. It was still hard to realize that I didn't have enough for everyone to notice me. I could have gone to fan pages. I could have done this. I could have done that. But sometimes those fan pages are very strict with don't promote yourself on this. This is for people who just love this. So I didn't want to ruin that. Other things in my life started to really take precedence. So it was like, hey, 
this isn't going to do so well. So I went, okay, let's reevaluate, let's change. But I was still very much affected by the lack of response. I realized, hey, let me just do it by myself. I'll be fine. Oh, well, why don't I try this? You know, I was going for a different creative approach in a much more solid, smaller scale. And I realized it wasn't small at all. It was rather bigger. And I just didn't have the resources to do it. That's why it really took so long to get through these films and also review them because time was just not on my side. I am working constantly and it was really hard to find time in between those times when I was off to get back here and, you know, get that review out and, and ready to go. And then, uh, then some new events happened in my life and they were very special and very poignant. And I am very happy that I have reached these moments in my life. But then I just realized that trying to find the time to do all this is going to be difficult. And I just can't keep doing it. Not at the rate that I had hoped to. I, I wanted Lord of the Rings, theatrical and extended, both types of reviews in three months. You know, I wanted one for each month. And so uh, what ended up starting in September, I think, I'm not recalling correctly, that ended up turning into, oh, here it is December. <laughs> it just bled in and things just couldn't happen as fast as I wanted them to. Lord knows I wanted this to be done and you guys didn't have to wait so long. With life changes and being burnt out and feeling rejected, feeling ignored, feeling all these things, good and bad, I just realized I couldn't continue on the same way that I wanted to. I didn't think I was going about it right. I actually felt pretentious and I don't want to be pretentious. Uh, I wanted to be informative. I wanted to be silly. I wanted to be goofy. I wanted to be fun. But then that just started going by the wayside. And if anybody watching this thought that of me, you know, in that limelight, like, yeah, he wasn't all that great. I, I totally get it. I, I was, I was trying way too hard and I really, really want to be better. I more or less wish to return at some point. I just need an extended amount of time to really focus on what I really like to do for this channel because I have found myself wanting to return back to Peter Jackson's filmography, which will happen. I will finish sometime later on in the in the new year of 2022. I honestly think it's just time to say goodbye for now. And that, that hurts because, you know, I, this was my dream. But I just think I went about a lot of this the wrong way. And now it's time to part ways with it for the time being. Um, I'll hope to get a better camera because I know this one sucks. <laughs> it's a little bit sharper, but it goes in and out of focus. And I've, I've seen those who have actually watched my videos and said, hey, this is good, but you need better quality, this, that, and the other. I, I've seen those comments and I, I've heard, heard them, but it's not been easy to obtain them. Even if you think that I should go to some website that's cheaper or whatever, honestly, I want the best and the best is expensive. So I, I got to work on that. And... Um, that being said, I'd like to focus back on the TV shows, eventually. Like, I would like to look at um, bigger, bigger seasons that had long, had prolonged um, run times longer than you think. You know, like, I want to look at CSI or Law & Order or all those ones that have breached past seven seasons. Even if it's just eight, you know, like, I want to review seasons that have already had their run and they are fully out there. I just want to explore them. I want to see what they're like. And I just want to be able to just throw one out there once in a while and be like, hey, I saw season two of CSI and here's what I thought, you know, because this is kind of how my brain works, you know, like I, I see seasons separately. I look at the quality of what that season gave 
And then I sort of like approach it and I go, okay, so season one had this story and that story and this, that, and the other. I find that fun and interesting and very cathartic for me because I get to talk, ramble on, and then get to the point. But I really want to hone in what seven minutes or less was really about to begin with, telling you something in seven minutes. And um, I will share with this share this with you. I explored my first seven minutes, my first seven minutes or less video uh, yesterday. It's not good. <laughs> I am a short-haired, awkward, did not know the first thing about lighting, um, awkward, I'll say again, and oh my god, the camera angle was awful, and my delivery was pitiful. So, going back to that, I know I have grown a lot, but I still have a lot more growing to do. But I want to revisit the shows that I did and give a more clearer opinion. And then also really hone in how the style of Seven Minutes or Less really works. And, and, and that kind of goes into first season will always be a general review. Second review of a second season will spoil the events of season one and also its ending but at the same time, it will be vague enough so you can still go back to season one if you need to. Uh, and I'll be sectioning, sectioning them out enough to where you're like, you can watch like seasons one and two reviews without too many spoilers. And, and you can feel like you can still get on there. Um, but I, I think that the longer you get into these seasons, the more it's kind of like free reign. Let's talk about spoilers. Let's talk about this. And then I also want to hone in on the fact that even though it can be seven minutes or less, they're going to be extended episodes, like 14 minutes. And there'll be bigger discussion pieces. And that way I can just talk about things in a freer nature the more we dive in. So I'm looking into that. Um, I definitely want to continue more directors in the cinema spotlight um, area. And I am not making any promises. But I'd love to start a podcast. Though it's not my thing. I know I can talk, but I've been around people who are bigger talkers and I'm so self-conscious to this that I feel like I'll talk too much and not give the person the time of day to really shine and speak their opinion but I still would like to look into it see what I can do but I'm gonna take this next year and really focus on things that I think are really important and that is if I want to do what I love I got to look at what I love and go, okay, here's what I'm willing to go forward with. Here's what I'm willing to sacrifice and understand. And I can only hope that those who have followed me on here, subscribe to me, um, will understand that and stick around. Uh, I'd like to maybe come back in the middle of the year of next year. I can only hope. This was as real as I can get with you guys. Um, I understand if I come off as one way and you're like, well, you can't think like that. You can't be like this. You can't be like that. I totally get it. Um, this journey is for me, but I wanted to give you a glimpse of what I was going through. Uh, I have made mistakes. I'd like to own them. I would like to repurpose, reconfigure and relaunch and do something very powerful and not really care about how many views this one video gets. I just want to talk. I just want to get that out there. And those who want to hear me talk will have no problem like wondering what did I think about this. And and taking suggestions are great too. It'll just take me a while. <laughs> but um, that being said, I really, really thank you all for those who have stuck around, who have come through who's always had my back and supported me. And I just think that you guys are incredible. So with all that said, um, I thank you for watching. I hope that uh, this all made sense to you. I am no longer on Twitter, uh, sad to say. I just, I can't stand that platform even as a promotional tool. And YouTube is going to be the only thing I'll be focusing on. And um I hope that makes sense, and I just kind of hope that, that that's actually the one thing that I can really focus on. 
everything's going to be on there. So I will see you guys in time. Thank you all. I love you all. Until next time.